Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the room reorganization video that we have been anxiously waiting for. I'm so excited to show you guys. I love the way that my room looks now and I am so appreciative that my husband put such hard work into doing this for me. So let me explain a little bit what happened. Um, I wasn't out of space in my room by any means, but I didn't like the way that some of my nail polishes were organized. And I'm always kind of looking ahead because I have plans to review nail polish, which means I need more space to put nail polish. So I had bought another um, six tier rack that you will see in the video uh, when I explain in the before part of the video. And I didn't like that some of my nail polishes were split to two different places. So I filmed the before video actually a couple weeks before we started working on it because I knew I was going to reorganize and I knew I wanted to do a video but I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do. So during this time my husband had bought me an anniversary present and I kept telling him well why don't we put it here, why don't we put it here, why don't we put it here and he kept telling me nope I have an idea for it, nope I have an idea for it. So. We were talking about the room reorganization and he was like, well, it's going to go in your nail polish room. I was so excited. Um, you'll be excited for me too when you get to see it. So that meant a whole lot of reorganization in here um, on one part of the room. The other parts, it was just nail polishes moved around and that's a constant thing for me. It's uh, no matter how my nail polishes are organized, I'm like, no, I don't like that there. I like it here. And I wonder if that's part of my... Um, so nail polish, painting my nails, and doing stuff in this room really helps with my anxiety. And so I wonder if me always wanting to change around the nail polishes is part of part of that method for me. So I don't know, but the nail polishes are always moving, so eventually you'll have another one of these. Hopefully this lighting isn't too bad. Sorry, I forgot to film the intro for this, and so I didn't want to set up all my lights again, so we're just doing a quickie intro here. Uh, I do talk you through the video, so I think that the rest of it you will get explained as it goes. So I have to apologize guys, um, the other parts of my room are messy because I was filming, but I just wanted to show you a before. I got a new one of these larger racks, the one with the six shelves that I'm going to put up there where my clock is, and so I'm going to be rearranging. There's my where I store my box for my pictures that I take. But I'm going to be rearranging polishes. So I just thought I would show you the before. This is my desk and you guys have seen this before. It's a mess because that's how I do stuff. There's a <clears throat> foldable tray that I use when I paint my nail in the other room. Nails. And some haul stuff in there that I'm not sure I'm going to do. Oh look, and makeup wipes and antacids on the nail polish shelf. I so really not cleaning stuff up. Sorry guys. So I have some racks over here. I have some of my Zoyas in this rack right here, but I don't like that they're separated. I don't like that I have Zoyas over here in this other part I'm going to show you. So there's those nail polish racks. And there are cords and lights set up because I filmed today. So this rack here has a bunch of nail polishes that I haven't worn yet, so that one just needs to be cleaned up. But I also have that box over, this box here under my desk is also polishes that need to be worn. So I still have my, my lights up and my filming. I don't usually take my camera off my tripod, but that was the best way I could think of to do this. I just did the Zoya unboxing, so that's what that is. I don't know when I'll actually put this film up though, so that might be confusing for you, sorry. So I have these three racks in here that are my background when I film, and I love them, but I don't like that my Zoyas are here and over there. I want them in just the one spot. So I'm not sure how I'm going to rearrange that. But I also have that rack up there too. That's going to be rearranged somehow. So I figured I would give you guys just the preview tour. Um, if you've never seen my room before. That box there is the box that the rack's in. But I also have a shoe addiction. So we'll just quick show you. I have too much of everything. And I'm very lucky because we're just at a point in our lives that 
enough of my kids have moved away, we had an empty bedroom and it got to be taken over by me and my nail polish, so I love that. So hopefully the next part you see will be either during reorganization or after. I haven't decided how we're going to do that, so see you in a minute. Okay, we'll start over here with the stuff that hasn't really changed. Those are the shelves that are usually behind me when I film. I did do some polish rearranging in there. Um, the lights on that chair are usually back out here behind the camera when I film just to help with the lighting. The bucket in there is where I keep my empties, so I do move that when I film because it sticks out a little bit. So that really hasn't changed too much. Over in this corner I have my tripod and ring light right there, but my ring light's turned sideways so you can't really see. I've got my little minion sitting on some candles and some candles by Victoria Wax Melts there. I do have a hard bonnet style hair dryer and I do use it on the sides of both of those shelves there I have my um, necklaces all hung up. You might be able to see reflected in the mirror. That whole corner is covered in mirrors. My husband did that for a full length mirror. I'm just in my PJs. This is after work. so Or my comfies, not my PJs. And then I don't think you can tell. I don't know if you can tell but that vinyl up there says Cinderella proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. So you can see I just have necklaces hung up there with those little sticky hooks. This part also hasn't changed very much. Okay, I moved my bench back where it goes. I move it to the side when I'm filming and I moved it to show you the stuff in the corner there. So these shelves haven't changed very much. They just have my shoes, some knickknacks, purses, my perfume collection. Um, one of the baskets that was on my desk before it has vitamins and stuff is there. Now Yep, that's pretty much it. I thought that there was something else I was going to say, but that hasn't changed too much. If we come over here in the corner, I do have the extra wall rack put up and there's nothing on it yet. These wall racks are stuff that's been moved around. So I have my pretty serious nail polish. Um, I think those are some Barrielles. I have some Polish M, more pretty serious glam polish, Kale polish, Pacifica, Contrary, Colors by LaRoe, some Revlon, Pure Ice, some Color Club, and some Randoms. I've got some Avon and some Color Me Monthly. And then when we turn this way, I have 90 Le Shaw. Um, Sally Hansen's, Square Hue, Bisu Polishes, that's not all of them, I'll show you in a minute. Um, Polish Addict, we have Cirque, A England, Super Chick Lacquer, Mary Kay, mm, Fun Lacquer, KB Shimmer, Morgan Taylor, Nail Hoot, random top coats that need to be used. They're not all in the correct bottles because I do refill nail polishes and then down below are base coats, same goes. Some random whites, cupcake polish, and these two rows are singles so I can't remember every one. These are polishes I only own one of. The brand and I'm sorry that it's dark and you can't really see that. And this mess here is my organized mess. This is extra stuff. These tins I use in my um, wax warmers so that I don't have to clean them out. I can just take it out and let it harden and pop the wax out. And extra boxes for mailing stuff. Extra bubbles for like giveaways and stuff. And then hopefully the light from my shades isn't too bright. So 
This set of drawers here has nail polish stuff, extra sugar scrubs, lotions, stuff like that. The clear acrylic drawers are makeup, extra lamp, and my mirror that I put on the desk when I do my makeup and stuff in here. Um, this is the nail polish rack that if I didn't already post it will be posted soon in the video. This is where it lives normally. These two lamps here are perfect for when I'm painting my nails and my nail dryer is in there. Um, this is the basket that usually holds the nail polishes I've worn and these are if I have a video in the works or something going on. I have other stuff there. This has a keyboard shelf that I have an extra makeup basket in and this whole basket here on this side, let me move my phone. This whole basket right here on this side is Harry Potter nail polishes, Harry Potter themed nail polishes that I need to get done. My nail caddy, my light box, and my lamp that just sits above that. I love that my light box has a permanent place now. And you can kind of see behind it there I have my foldable tables for random stuff or taking if I paint my nails somewhere else. And then another set of drawers that have basically the same thing. They have cotton balls, felt felt squares for taking off nail polish, my lint-free cloths, stuff like that. Down here in this corner, I have a box of Candles by Victoria melts, my dryer and diffuser, and random hair stuff. Then I have a nail polish rack that's been completely cleared off, and this shorter one also is completely cleared off right now. It's got my extra Zoyas for my daughter's wedding and some extra base and top coats and my Zoya removes. So I had to back clear up to show you the wall that got all the renovations. These are my same spinning racks that were on my dresser, but the dresser is gone. So that rack is Moonshine Manny. These two are sinful colors. They are now um, more organized by color. This rack over here is polishes that I need to have swatch pictures of. Um, newer ones, not ones pulled from my collection, which is what my other nail polish rack on the desk is. And my husband built me these shelves that are like totally stole from Phoebe Moon, her wall in her room. So the bottom shelf has Essie's and a few Butter Londons. The second shelf there is China Glaze. Then I have two rows of OPI and two rows of Zoya. And that painting is my early anniversary present and it's gorgeous. So I'll just show you the whole wall one more time. And then we can look at it a little bit closer. So there's my painting. And these are just kind of loosely arranged by color. So I have a couple rows of Zoyas. and a couple rows of OPI. And then my China Glaze, Better London, and Essie. And you would probably, if you've seen Phoebe's channel, have noticed that my shelves are different because my shelf has this rope in the front. And it's kind of funny because my husband had 100% faith in me that I would be able to knock all of these off of my shelf and break them and he's looking out for me. So what he did is he decided that we needed a lip on the front of the shelf. So the rope is decorative but it's also an edge there so that these don't come off as easily. And I got the idea from a YouTube video. I will link her down below because I can't remember her name. 
but she used PVC edging for her shelves. She used like a half inch one for the wall and a quarter inch one for the lip on the front. But the only PVC edging we could find was really thick and gaudy and didn't look good. So, and then we're right back to my closets and my door. So this was the big project that was going on and it did take quite a bit of work for my husband but I have to tell you this is the favorite wall in my house. Okay guys I hope you liked that. The shelves that my husband added actually weren't very expensive. I think the shelves and the hardware that we bought were around maybe $50 because we only did the six shelves, but that rope on the front of the shelves for the little lip was really expensive. It was probably at least that as least as much as all the hardware or maybe a little bit more. And that hardware price includes the baseboard that all my spinning shelves are sitting on. Now my lighting's probably even worse than it was in the first because there's even less lights over here. But I just wanted to say goodbye to you in front of the wall. Maybe we can film over here sometimes because it's visually pleasing to me. So the hardware was not very expensive. We did have some trouble installing them, but that's because my house is dumb. <laughs> uh, we used a stud finder to find the studs and it did not work well. Everywhere it told us there was a stud, most of them did not have a stud, and our builders did not put the studs 16 inches apart like there is standard in a house. So we had a really hard time finding the studs to anchor the shelves onto, but the shelves, like I said, weren't very expensive. The rope that we're using for the ledge and the decoration was more expensive than the shelves were. I love it. I love the way that it turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reorganization tour. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!